What you guys, in this video we're going to be flashing our firmware on our H96 Pro Plus from Android 6.0 to Android 7.0 Nugget or Nugget depending on where in the world you are. So make sure you've got your image ready and your burning software which is your burn card maker which is a Chinese software which we have to then convert into an English piece of software. So what we're going to do here is open up our burn card maker software first. And as I said, it will be first in Chinese. So go up to the top left and choose the second option. And now put the tick in English version and click OK. Now we can close off that software and reopen it and it should be in English. So let's click on this again and open it back up. And there we are. So now we need to put the ticks in all the boxes. So there should be four boxes. Put ticks in all of those. And then click on the image file and click open and choose your path to your image. Now choose your disk. Mine is E, yours may be different. And now click on make. And this will then get your micro SD card prepared. So as you can see, it's starting to prepare our card. It's gonna format our card. So click on start. This will wipe the card. So if there's any data on there, it will be gone. Now click OK and close this off. It will automatically go into write mode, which will then start to write the image to that micro SD card. This will take a bit of time, so be patient. I've speeded this process up for you. Now once we've done that, it should say successful. We can now close off this software. Now we should be looking at our TV box. And this is what I was using to burn my image to the micro SD card if you're interested. It's a little USB flash drive with a little slot in there for SD cards and micro SD cards. And it just makes it a lot easier to, to burn that image to the device there. So if you haven't got one of these, then you might want to get one. I'll leave the vid uh, link in the video description. And if you have got one already on your computer, then you won't need one of those, okay? So I'm just gonna remove the micro SD card here and plug it into the TV box. Now this is the H96 Pro Plus. It doesn't matter what make or model number it is, as long as it's the H96 Pro Plus, it doesn't matter what the manufacturer's name is on the front, it will work, okay? So just gonna plug this uh, little micro SD card in there. You'll notice there's no power to the device. Make sure you've got no power to the actual TV box. It's important at this stage that we don't have no power. So we just got the HDMI cable plugged in. Now you should see a little hold on the side somewhere on your TV box, and this is the reset button. Okay, we need to have a little pin that we can use to push into that little hole. So you can see that we have no power adapter plugged in, just the HDMI cable. And the reason for that is because when we press the reset button and then we plug in the power, what that will do is it will tell it to boot from the actual micro SD card, which has got our image on it. So you're gonna need some sort of a tool here and I'm using a little, little now. And once we've got that done, it will start the process off. So first off, let me just go and plug my uh, plug-in ready so I don't have to fumble around. So I'm just gonna plug this in and get it ready. And now all we need to do now is press in that reset button. So let me just get the reset button on the right side here and get my little nail and poke it in the hole and just hold it down. So you want to keep that pressed at all times and get ready to put the power in. So keep the actual reset hole pressed down, keep it pressed in and now just add a bit of power to the device. And once you've done that, you should see the actual Android uh, man pop up on the screen saying upgrading. If you see that you've done good and it should be working okay. Now you should see a little grey bar that comes across the bottom of the screen and that means that it's now starting to upgrade your device okay. Now this may take a bit of time it may be stuck on this screen for a little while so be patient and uh, eventually you should see a little grey bar go across the bottom. Now once that's completed going across the bottom you should then see a green bar going and that means it's now transferring all the data from the micro SD card to your Android uh, firmware. So it's flashing your firmware basically. 
So you don't want to unplug it at this stage. It should then automatically reboot and you should see your logo for your box say an inbox or whatever logo yours is and it should then get to the desktop of that TV box device. As you can see here, we're now at a little uh, GUI interface here. We can now go into settings just to see whether it's actually flashed our firmware. So go into the about tab here and uh, just drill down until you see the actual version and you should see now 7.1.1 and that means Android 7. Now if you click on the build button down the bottom five times it should put you into developer mode which is uh, what you want to be in okay and that's pretty much it you're ready to go and ready to use your box and it's all been flashed and this is a good method to use if you're uh, brick your uh, actual TV box. Anyway, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.